introduce myself. My name is Ava Pardo Keegan. I'm the peer advisor for computer science engineering, um, and I'm a junior in computer science engineering right now. Um, and today we're joined by MDST. Um, do you guys want to introduce yourself, maybe your major, um, and then your role in MDST? Uh, uh, yeah, for sure. Um, so I'm Josh. I'm a senior in computer science. Uh, I've been with MDST since, I want to say, winter 2021, uh, and I'm president of the club. Um, I'm Lucy. Uh, I'm majoring in CS and BCM, and I think this is my fourth semester with MDST, and I am the external VP. Okay, awesome. Um, and then just to get started, um, could you talk briefly about, I guess, like a general introduction of, of what is MDST for people who might not have heard it, heard of it, um, what it stands for, um, and then maybe if you can go into, you know, the types of majors um, and the people in the organization. Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> MDST is uh, sort of from Michigan Data Science Team. Uh, we are the biggest and we like to think best uh, applied data science and machine learning club on campus. Uh, we have over 200 active members uh, working together on a range of projects every semester. Uh, and we, our goals are mainly uh, to sort of educate about the applications of data science and ML, uh, give people sort of the tools to start a career in the field, uh, and also provide uh, opportunities for members' professional, academic, and career development through talks and corporate sponsorships and things like that. Great. Um, you mentioned that, you know, you host events with uh, different types of events. Are they usually more social or professional or like a mix of them? Um, and can you talk about maybe some different types of events that you host? Uh, uh, yeah, Lucy, you want to take us? Yeah. Um, so we have our weekly meeting sessions, which are um, our three-hour blogs where we actually work on projects and it's a chance for our members to improve their technical skills. Um, but we also do have a variety of social, professional, and outreach events. Um, so these are our Thursday meetings where we do socials such as like trivia or Jeopardy. Um, and then we also have professional and networking events where we invite companies in and they can give tech talks um, and talk about the latest AI or data science related projects that they're developing. And it gives our members a chance to um, get, a, get a glimpse of what industry looks like with data science. Cool. Are there um, specific dates that events are hosted on or are they just like hosted on different, um, I guess like throughout the month? So generally we try to have them uh, in line with our kind of Thursday meeting schedule, <clears throat> but uh, it's, it's at the end of the day up to uh, whoever's actually giving the presentations for us. Um, but yeah, just kind of add on to, a, to Lucy's point there. Um, I just want to highlight a couple of like kind of more noteworthy talks that we've had. Um, so like last semester we had a uh, like the head of the, the AI department at Bloomberg uh, come give a talk about sort of the infrastructure at that company and uh, sort of like again what machine learning and data science looks like uh, at Bloomberg. Uh, this Thursday actually we have a researcher from OpenAI coming to talk about uh, sort of his work on uh, reinforcement learning and things like that um, and how he sort of how they developed uh, ChatGPT. That's really cool. It sounds like there's a lot of great opportunities and that's awesome. Um, and then can you talk a little bit about um, the time commitment um, if the members have to attend every single event or, um, you know, if it's just a couple events or what the time commitment is, I guess. Yeah, so we have um, three hour work sessions on Sunday and those are mandatory in order for members to keep up with the projects. Um, but we do allow for one absence, I think. And then in terms of Thursday meetings, which are social and like networking events, um, those are optional, but they, again, are great opportunities for members to get to know each other and get to see um, what our sponsors are doing. And then with that too, could I ask, how has it been for both of you um, managing that with your own classes, you know, being on projects and stuff, um, how have you found it to be? Yeah, um, so I personally found it uh, really not to interfere that much uh, with my schedule. Uh, I mean, the three hours on Sunday, you know, if it's something that you want to do, it's definitely time that you can find. Um, we also uh, offer opportunities kind of for people to move up to be project leads. And uh, that also tends to be similar, like uh, a similar time commitment. And people seem to not have issues scheduling it alongside their schoolwork. Yeah, I've also found the three hours to not be too bad. Um, and also like, you meet a lot of people in your classes at MDST, and so you can take time to like talk about homework or projects you're doing. Right. 
we also do provide food at a lot of meetings, so it's kind of a, a win-win. So, essentially, the time you're taking for lunch. That's awesome. Um, and then, can you talk a little bit about the different projects that you have, um, and then we'll go into like, the process to join them. But I think an overview of the projects would be cool. Yeah, for sure. So um, every semester, we split up into about ten to fifteen different projects. Uh, given that we have two hundred plus members, it's, we tend to get have to split up into a lot of uh, groups for that. Um, and we try to kind of balance them between sort of more beginner projects to get people who are uh, more interested in joining the field uh, and sort of stepping into the club, you know, seeing what data science and machine learning is like, um, maybe freshmen who have now a lot of uh, coding background. Um, and then we also have some more advanced projects. Uh, so, for instance, this semester we're doing one uh, where we're sort of rebuilding uh, DALI, which, uh, if you're familiar, it's one of the uh, sort of image generation uh, AIs that have been making a lot of waves recently. Uh, and we're also trying to branch out into slightly different um, sort of aspects of machine learning and data science. So in addition to these projects that involve these kind of complex models like DALI, we also have a project on web scraping, which is an important part of data science. Um, and we also have a project on uh, like ML engineering, which is a very like an emerging field that's like growing really fast. and we have a project that involves sort of building and hosting a chatbot in an ML engineering kind of frame of reference. Uh, and we also have uh, this year for the first time, uh, we're doing sponsored project where we work with pro with partners from industry to uh, sort of put together a project that is impactful both for us and for our partners. That's great. Um, you briefly mentioned this uh, too a little bit, um, but what type of experience do people need to have um you know to join the projects is it does it depend on the project or can anyone join yeah we um so in terms of uh joining our club we are open to everybody um in order to join all you really need to do is complete a checkpoint um which is just a very brief like evaluation of like python numpy pandas um but we do offer a lot of assistance and like office hours and tutorials um if you're not so experienced with those um, and then in terms of joining our projects, we do have like um, each member ranks their pr uh, preference for projects and we do our best to try to match them um, to the project that they want and also like fits their level of expertise at the time. Perfect. Thank you. Um, and then before you had mentioned um, you have different companies that come and talk. You had Bloomberg come and talk, which is awesome. Um, what type of professional opportunities um, would you say members gain, um, you know, at these events and stuff? So uh, it varies event to event. So sometimes it's mainly a way for the company to come advertise itself uh, and come talk to like a group of motivated people looking to join the field. Um, but a lot of times we also, uh, people get like specific application links and uh, that help you through the uh, application process, give you a bit of a leg up. Um, it's also, of course, always useful to be able to mention a recruiter's name uh, when you're applying. So uh, even just showing up to these uh, presentations is useful for people with professional development like that. Um, but we also have certain talks that are more directly impactful. So for instance, right before spring break, we had a talk by uh, a guy called Nick Singh, who wrote, he literally wrote the book on uh, data science interviews. Um, and so he sort of, over the course of the meeting, sort of talked us through uh, like the uh, way, the best ways to sort of prepare for an interview and best ways to ensure your chances of scoring your the job that you want. That sounds like really great networking experience too. That's really cool. Um, and then you also mentioned earlier um, of talking a little bit about um, team leads, um, project team leads. Could you talk about some leadership opportunities and like kind of how um, those happen? Yes. So we're, we're a pretty big club, um, so we do have a lot of projects and then a lot of project leads, um, and we are always looking for more project leads. Uh, you don't have to be like super experienced in ML or data science to be a project lead. Um, it's also a really great learning opportunity. Um, but besides project leads, we also have like our committees. Um, so we have like a social committee, um, our finance committee, a project committee. And so these students all work on developing the tutorials in order to join the club, as well as developing projects and then like social opportunities, things like that. So we do have quite a lot of opportunities and we are always looking for people to take on these roles. We also have a fairly large e-board. We have six members, I think, uh, 
kind of covering a really diverse array of responsibilities. Uh, and so, yeah, and of course, as Lucy said, the uh, we have a really kind of wide base for leadership with the uh, with the number of project leads that we have. So there's a lot of opportunities to get involved and a lot of opportunities to move up through the structure if you're interested. That's great. Um, and then switching gears here, I also wanted to ask about um, any fundraising events that you might have in coming up and then if you could talk a little bit about them. Yeah, so uh, naturally being a fairly large club as we are uh, and without, and since we don't have dues because we try to sort of lower the uh, uh, barriers to entry to the field, um, we have a lot of costs and we need to find ways to cover them. And so this year we are uh, participating in uh, Giving Blue Day. Uh, Net, which is next Wednesday. Um, and uh, yeah, essentially, if you're interested in sort of contributing uh, to the club and sort of helping support us and what we do, um, we, uh, yeah, we appreciate any gifts that uh, people will be willing to uh, send over to us. Uh, our giving page is at uh, tinyurl.com slash MDST dash blue day. So um, check that out if you're uh, interested in giving uh, and yeah, again, we appreciate it. Perfect. We'll make sure to link uh, Giving Blue Day in our link tree as well, so people can find you more easily there too. That's great. Um, and then we talked a little bit about um, joining the teams, um, but is there a specific way to people, can you talk a little bit more about that um, and maybe how competitive it is uh, to join teams? Um, yeah, so we don't have like it's not really competitive more so we, we just have a lot of people so sometimes people don't always get their number one choice um, but we do try our best to give everybody the project that they're most interested in and again we don't we try to lower the barriers of barriers of entry so um, anybody who really wants to join the club should be able to and they should be able to get onto a project that they have interest in cool and just a like add some specific dates and stuff to that. Um, we accept new uh, members at the start of each semester. So uh, if you're interested in joining, um, check on our website, mdst.club uh, around the start of uh, the coming fall semester and uh, you'll see the opportunity sort of to get involved there. Perfect. Um, and then you mentioned that you have an event coming up this Thursday, I believe you said. Um, are there any other events uh, that you maybe wanna mention that are coming up as well that people can attend? Uh, well, we do uh, try to do talks as often as we can on Thursdays. Um, this is the one that we have coming up now. I believe we have one in two weeks by a former MDST president who's now gone on to start a number of startups successfully in Silicon Valley. Um, I believe he's coming again uh, two Thursdays from this coming Thursday. So, um, yeah, again, more information probably on our website. Cool. Um, and then just to wrap up my last question, um, I just want to ask both of you um, what your favorite thing or your favorite memory has been from MDST. Yeah, um, I would say my favorite thing is just getting to meet a lot of people that share your same interests. Um, it's a great way to like learn from other people, but also find friends in like your classes and people to work with. Yeah, I definitely have to agree with Lucy. Um, I also think uh, one thing I really Enjoyed was being a project lead uh, a year and a half ago or so. Um, so it really sort of accelerated my uh, sort of understanding of the topic that I was working on and really uh, made me more confident. That's what I, some of that I want to do in my career. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. That was a great overview of MDST. Um, and we'll make sure to link uh, the Giving Blue Day and our link tree. And then we'll also put the link to your website so people can find. Um, but thank you so much for joining us um, and have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Thanks for having Bye. us.